This is an exploration of tree architecture. That is, why is it that trees are the shape that they are? One of their major requirements is to have the largest possible surface area of the leaves pointing up towards the sun, whilst at the same time reducing the shading of their own lower branches. Many tree species reach a considerable height in an attempt to reach the sunlight and to outcompete their neighbours. The major problem with increase in height is the force of the wind. This can cause either wind throw whereby a tree is completely blown over or where branches are ripped off. Every tree is unique in the position that it grows in and also its own properties. The way it adapts is called adaptive growth and this results in such things as buttresses developing to help support the base of the trunk or buttresses on the branches. Also the, the shape of the trunk is normally circular but it can adapt to the wind direction and become thicker in certain positions. Also the branches become, can become the shape of iron girders that is they thicken on the top and the bottom. All forces that a tree has to adapt to is simply called the static load, that is like the weight of the tree. However, the way in which the tree deals with the wind is known as structural damping. That is, it finds ways of dissipating the energy of the wind to prevent itself from being damaged. About 50% of the energy of the wind blowing against a tree is absorbed within the heartwood of the tree. The other 50% is taken in by the sapwood, that is the, the living wood around the circumference of the tree. Also there's water present in the xylem vessels and this viscous squeezing can absorb some of the energy as well. Typical powerful gusts of wind last between 20 and 40 seconds. When the leaves are on the trees, some of this energy is dissipated through leaf flutter. It's also been found that the movement of the individual branches is crucial. There's a mass damping effect, that is the smaller branches attached to the larger branches act to reduce the larger branches movement. And then the movement of the larger branches acts to spread throughout the tree the energy and prevent the, the pendulum effect on the major trunk which would result in being blown over. That is the individual branches act in such a way as to prevent a pendulum effect from forming. It's observable that many tree species have a typical Y-shaped fork, that is wherever the trunk produces a branch it's a Y-shape and for each branch branching again also forms Y-shapes and that occurs throughout the entire canopy of the tree. The reason for this is this Y-shape is the most efficient at dissipating the energy of the wind, which answers the question as to why branches don't come off at right angles as you might otherwise expect. Some of the energy of the wind is dissipated by the tree in the form of heat, so tree bark becomes noticeably warmer during a storm. Engineers have employed all of these techniques in the, in the construction of skyscrapers and other buildings and other structures. So the buttresses, the cylindrical shapes and the structural damping are familiar features 